morning. I'm Raul Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Friday, May 18th. The attorney for a former fraternity president at Temple University says his client is being treated unfairly. Former Alpha Epsilon Pi president Ari Goldstein was released on $200,000 bail. Charges against him include attempted rape. Investigators say they are related to an incident at the frat house in February. His attorney says the bail was excessive, but Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner says it's appropriate because the allegations are extremely serious. Philadelphia police says unlikely charges will be filed after a pedestrian is struck and killed on Roosevelt Boulevard. Investigators tell Ivan as soon as the victim was crossing the boulevard near Bustleton Avenue late last night when he was hit in the inner lanes. The 24-year-old victim died at the scene. The driver told investigators the victim walked into traffic. And a 92-year-old Philadelphia tradition is taking place today, but in New Jersey. The Stotesbury Regatta is the world's largest high school rowing competition, and it's normally held on the Schuylkill River. However, heavy rains this week have made conditions on the Schuylkill potentially dangerous. The regatta will now take place on the Cooper River in Camden County. And on that note, let's send it mm. right over to Katie. Yeah, you know, that rain is still an issue for us, Rahel, and even through the rest of the day today, as well as tomorrow and probably Sunday, too, we'll have showers around to contend with. Now, they do start to fade a little bit. It won't be quite as wet of a day by Sunday, but we do still have a flood watch that's going to last us until 6 p.m. tomorrow. So it's most of the region included in that. We are finding throughout the course of the day pockets of very drenching rain through especially Delaware and southern New Jersey. But the further north you go, it's more like light to moderate showers in the city and the suburbs. But even in the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley early this morning, we saw a little sun breaking through. So it's generally just dry up that way. But you could see a little bit of dampness out there, too. Very location based forecast today. Tomorrow, everyone is in the thick of it with additional showers. And then by Sunday, it's more of these scattered showers. Monday, however, does look dry. And while we are going to see another front come along on Tuesday to renew the potential for a shower or a thunderstorm, all in all, I'd say once we get past tomorrow, Rahel, the worst of this will finally be wrapping up. Okay, I think I can, I can live with that, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> and remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.